ਆਉਣਾ ਇੱਕ ਹਲ ਮੇ ਕਲੇ ਹੂਆ ਇਹ ਹਲੇਲੇ ਹੂਆ ਨੋਇਆ ਨਾ ਨੋਈ ਉਹ ਕੋ ਕੋ ਨੋਇਆ ਹਿਆ ਨੋਈ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਹਲ ਹਲੇ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਨਾਈ ਆ ਤੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਕੋ ਆ ਤੂੰ ਕੋ ਮੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਨੋਆ ਅਲੋ ਆਈ Hello everybody, good morning, good morning. My name is Palakiko. I live on the North Shore and the waves are here. Just wanted to let you guys know the waves are here. Jenny, she runs the MPW, the Malamakukeo uh, Waimea Conservation District on the other side. And the DLNR, these guys, they always come down, they always support, they always help. So when they ask for a little allocation of this boat to this place, to this island, to this ocean, and if it's all right, we're gonna handle them in three parts. So first I wanted to do one full leg, just to bless everything. Then we're gonna do one only to introduce this ocean going vessel to this island, its home. And then what I'm gonna do is with all of these resources, and, and you know what? Back in traditional times, you know, people used to protect these resources. So for DLNR and then this boat, Malama K2, you know, ke pule, ke pule kaho, ke ke aku ai loko kalani ka kalani manolo kalani mahalo ko ke ala, mahalo ke ho ma e ma ia ma ko, e ho ike ia ma ko, ike au ko, e ho ma e ma ko, me na vai vai havai, e like me aho. So we got to Oli of this place to introduce this of this mofu, this vessel, you know, to this place. The Puliana are taking care of this place. Uh, in the Pule, in the prairie, you know, mahalo to all of you for, for coming together and, and seeing this project all the way through to its finish, you know. We're about to touch ocean and, and this vessel is going to take on a new life, yeah. And to make sure that it's surrounded by its home and everything that is of this home. ਮਾਈ ਕਈ ਕੀ ਨਾ
we're tremendously excited today to be able to dedicate the new enforcement boat for the Division of Conservation and Resource Enforcement. You know, to do our job well, our officers have to have the right tools. And uh, especially when you're doing enforcement work on the open ocean, the high seas, you have some dangerous conditions, you're out there in the hot sun for long periods of time, you need, you need stability, you need speed, you need to be able to turn well, um, and you need, you know, protection from the sun. And this boat has, has it all. And uh, so it's got, it's got uh, around, the, around the side built-in uh, fenders so that uh, you don't have to hassle with that when you're meeting up with other boats. It's got uh, good stability in the water by the hull design. It's got a good canopy. It's got good stability and protection uh, for our officers who are actually out there all day long doing resource enforcement out on the ocean. And we're just tremendously excited to have a boat like this here and another boat like this on Hawaii Island, the Sea Blade 23-foot uh, enforcement boats. Not all boats are created equal, so this one is built specifically for this work on the water. And uh, we're particularly uh, uh, grateful and uh, fortunate to be able to have a local company, Navitech, uh, that is a terrific uh, boat builder, excellent reputation, um, who actually worked with our DOCARE officers over a long period of time to really uh, understand what are the particular needs you have in order to be able to do good enforcement work on the water. So this is really a collaboration in design of, uh, of our DOCARE enforcement officers and Navitac. And so we're, it's a great uh, fortune that we're really able to do this with a local company and build it right here and be able to test it on the water and design it uh, as we go um, in the conditions that our officers are, are facing. Support for DLR specific mission objectives and they were designed with local knowledge and expertise to handle Hawaii's rough ocean conditions. Our hope is that these boats will serve as important tools to help DLNR efficiently and safely protect Hawaii's natural resources. And we, we hope to have similar success with our next boat. We're building a Seablade 30 for the DLNR as well. So the differences between this boat and kind of a commercial off the shelf boat is that this is kind of designed to operate safely and quickly in Hawaii's rough, challenging ocean conditions. <clears throat> this boat uh, is going into service this week. Uh, we did trial runs with it. It performs and handles uh, beyond our expectations of what, what it was told it could do. We have two guys that are de uh, designated to work 40 hours on marine patrol work. So it depends on the weather, depends on uh, other duties that they have but they'll be on the water for at least four to five days a week. 